Hey guys, I'm Darren, you're watching carbuyer.com.sg once again. In front of us is the new BMW 3 Series, codename G20. And uh, of course, the 3 Series is the car that made BMW over four decades and 15 million units sold. It's the car that really encapsulates the brand more than anything. The car is much larger than before. It's uh, almost 76 millimeters longer, 41 millimeters longer wheelbase, but overall, the weight has gone down by as much as 55 kilos in this particular car which is the 330i that's about 15 kilo weight loss thanks to aluminium bonnet aluminium front fenders uh, high strength steel and the new platform same platform as on the 5 series and you can see the car really has become quite a bit bigger and almost like a baby 5 series if you look at it from this direction it doesn't look like an old 3 series but of course all this kind of model creep and size creep has been going on for some time so arguably the 1 Series is the, the car that takes over the mantle from the 3 Series with a small compact car. So this is still a very sporty car. This is the M-Line Sport Kit. We've got um, dual exhaust pipes. We have larger wheels. It's a 330i badge there. Uh, let's just check out the brakes. This is the M brakes. Let me have a look at them. You can go with the M brakes right there. It's a bit dirty because we have just come back from our test drive. Um, we're gonna go on the inside now. There's a cockpit of the new 3 Series, the G20, and we've got a lot to run through, so I'll try and make it quick, but we'll highlight the most interesting things. And of course, just like Mercedes C-Class, A-Class, we've got a glass cockpit. What does that mean? We've got a big screen here, we've got a big screen here. And obviously, these are the larger screens that might actually be optional. If you're looking at this thing and wondering what it is, that's like a infrared sensor. I think it detects where your eyes are and if your hands are on the steering wheel. And that's for the adaptive cruise with steering assist. And um, just like the 5 series and the 7 series, the 3 series has a lot of um, enhanced aids. And BMW says that it, it can even drive itself at speeds below 60. And just look at the rest of the cabin. Quite nice, modern. So you can't, it's a bit bright now, you can't really see the, the contrast, the mood lighting. But you can see um, what BMW calls uh, BMW OS 7.0 and that's the whole operating system uh, of the car. What's new? This is a rotary controller, still here. I'm glad to see that. But you still do have a touch screen. Touch screen, touch screen. Oh shit, what did I do? Never mind. Anyway. So these, this is the new um, setup that uh, first came out on the X5. Also seen in the 8 series. You can see our adaptive drive modes, start stop button. Um, one of the cool things about this car, it actually has a reverse assistant. I'm not sure if you can see. So what that reverse assistant does is, um, you say records your last few movements in the car. And if you're in a tight parking spot where you can't see where you're going, you just use a reverse assistant. It goes backs up all the way, all by itself. Reverse assistant, I have engaged reverse. You can see R. Oh, this is freaky. This is freaky. Oh god, this is freaky. Ooh, mommy. So I just came out of this lot behind me. Um, I'm not doing anything. I'm just pressing the brake. The car is doing everything else. Huh. And now I'm back, almost back where I started. End of route, would you reach shortly? Okay, okay, do it, do it, do it, come on. Wow, you're better than I am. Uh, they're even showing me how much distance I have left. Cool! Awesome. The last cool feature that we really like is voice control. So voice control is a new, not a new feature for most cars, luxury cars especially, but it has gotten really really good over the past few years. Now the Audi a8, A6, A7, they all have the um, what they call conversational and contextual voice control. Mercedes has it too. Uh, when we drove the A Class, the A35 recently, we kept saying Mercedes and it kept activating the car. That was the key word for activating the car. And you could talk to the car and tell you what it wants to do. And it's the same with the new 3 Series. Um, this is what BMW calls intelligent personal assistant. So you can do all kinds of cool things with it, and they've got a list of examples right here. And so I've changed the name of my car to Alfred because I want to be Batman. So uh, no hands, I didn't press anything. 
Hey, Alfred. Hello. What can I help you with? I'm bored. I can't imagine that. Maybe you haven't yet had the chance to try sport mode. Well, I noticed that you changed to the sport display. It's not bad. And, um, you know, a few years ago, I would have feel quite foolish just talking to a car, but this actually works. I'm going to try something else. Hey, Alfred. When is the next maintenance for my car? There are no service requirements. <laughs> <laughs> so that's actually pretty good. We've got a whole list of um, other examples here. Um, Alfred. How far can Hello. I drive? Could you repeat that? How far can I drive? The remaining range is 340 kilometers. Oh, that's pretty good. And voice recognition, as we see here, has come really, really far over the past few years. It can even recognize incoherent growling like that. Hey guys, so we're behind the wheel of the 330i and this is the M Sport Line Edition. Um, this doesn't have adaptive dampers, so it's the fixed rate uh, M suspension, slightly more stiff than the standard comfort suspension, but we have stand, uh, changeable driving modes, you've got Sport, Comfort, Eco Pro. But what you really want to know is does it really drive like a 3 Series? Well, in our currently right now we're just cruising along the road at about 60, 70, uh, the road's pretty good, it's very comfortable. Um, the M line suspension is a little bit stiff, just like the previous generation was, but we're going to crank it up to Sport and then we can see if the 258 horsepower engine is any good. So that's the 8-speed uh, gearbox, just like before. Um, not bad, the ride is still pretty okay, as you can see it's still a bit jiggly, but does it handle like a 3 Series? Yes it does. I'm pleased to say that it's actually pretty good. It's pretty fast and it is very I say composed, turning is nice. I don't quite like this really fat M steering wheel. Again, another thing that they had before, but if you really lean on the thing in the corners, it goes fast without any trouble at all. So it really handles like the 3 Series. And later on, we're going to try the most powerful 3 Series, the current one, not the M, the M340i on track. Uh, that's 306 horsepower on 40 miles, so watch out for that.